Crosswords started in 1913 with the New York Daily. And today, millions of people start their day with their morning cognitive hit from their favourite crossword in their morning daily. Similarly, in dementia units, D3 first level dementia units, many people can do crosswords and they love to do crosswords. And it's really important that they have access to the resources of a regular subscription so that they keep, can keep that oiled cognition going, you know, on a regular basis. And if they're able to do that, they have a much higher chance of being able to organise their thinking and then with that thinking communicate clearly uh, in the unit with relatives and with residents. And of course, the pen, it's very important that they have a pen um, to be able to have at hand to do the crosswords. But if they have that and the crossword, it's a good start to the day. So I'd just like to go into a couple of examples here of people that did crosswords and how it benefited them. So there was one lady, um, Theodora, and she loved reading. She loved crosswords and she'd do the daily newspaper crossword. Um, she'd have them piled up in her room, old copies and new copies in her walker. <laughs> she actually had a library of crosswords in her room, you know, books of them and newspaper cutouts of them and you name it and stuffed in her walker, you know, carrier bag. Her daughter was very good at bringing in um, all the, all the uh, newspapers. She didn't have a subscription, but she did have lots of crossword puzzle books, which was good because with those books, they're actually really um, helpful in dementia units because they've got a backing board in a sense, haven't they, to be able to write on? I mean, with a newspaper, a page of a newspaper, what do you use as a backing board? You haven't got the kitchen table that you're sitting at with the newspaper in a dementia unit. You're sitting in a chair watching television, chances are. So they need to have something on their lap that's hard cover. So for example, if you've got the book, say you say this size um, as a crossword puzzle book, and then they can open it, fold it back, and all they need actually, as they've got the crossword puzzle here, all they need is a pen. Now, this being another issue in dementia units and a very important one, pens get lost all the time because present memory loss, present memory loss with everything, whether it's pens, shape, biro pens, shavers, toothbrushes, hairbrushes, you name it. In dementia units, the big mission is always trying to find things that have got lost because people have the present memory loss and so they lose things all the time, including uh, pens. Now, what I'd suggest is in terms of pens, just get a big box of biros, they're not expensive, and put a couple of pens in, say, if it's your mother who loves the crosswords, put a couple of pens in all of the main drawers, you know, so that when she goes fishing through, she can find some. They will get lost for sure, but they're cheap. And um, if there's a whole pile around, at least then she's not stressed out trying to find one. Because anything, requesting anything in a dementia unit is an absolute mission, really. It takes time because everyone's so busy that even to try and find a bi biro, that is if they can find one because they go missing even at the nursing station. Um, you know, it just takes a lot of time and energy. So if they've got their biro, and you can remind mum, say, look, mum, I've put your biros and your crosswords, quite a few crosswords in your top drawer by your bed. That's the best place to put them. So by your bed in the top drawer, they're always fiddling around in the top drawer for lipsticks and crosswords and pens and cards and all their favourite things, just like a handbag. That little duchess dresser with the little drawer by the side of the bed is the favourite place for them to shuffle around. So put a whole lot of pens in there and then spend pens in the other top drawers. Then they have what they need at hand and a few copies of the crossword books. If they're used to doing crossword books, bring a pile of those in. If they're used to doing the crossword from, say, the Woman's Day, bring in the Woman's Day or keep that subscription up because it's better for them to have a crossword puzzle that they've been used to doing, you know, so that the, there's that familiarity of past memory tracks. 
that they can click into. Um, newspaper uh, crosswords, you know, are rel relatively uh, easily available daily if the subscription of the newspapers continued, which hopefully it is, but it's just a little bit more difficult to organise and pack so that they've got a backing board. Um, so just be aware of that. And of course, if the if your mother has a walker, they can put the crosswords into the walker carry bag and just put a couple of pens in a box in the carrier. Otherwise, the pens go down through the wire of the, the cage and, you know, get lost unless it's a canvas cage. There's all these little things. I know it seems like a lot of detail, but actually these are the most important things because really there's no point having a whole lot of beautiful crosswords in the room that the mother's able to do if there's no pens available, you know? And they will get lost, so you need to come up with a way, you know, all these methods. And, and also in the morning, you can say to the nurse or the main carer, please make sure that mum has her crossword and her pen with her uh, for the morning, you know, uh, in her carrier bag, or that you give it to her as she goes to the lounge, or better than that, when she's at the lounge, give her the crossword and the pen there to do, you know, so that this way everything's set up and it sort of it won't fall through the cracks, which it so easily does. So that's why people in dementia units are often not doing activities like crosswords because they haven't got a pen. So you can organise all this in advance. It's a marvellous thing because if your mother can sit there with that cognition, you know, and and get that thinking going, distance herself from the memory the dementia, memory stress, and go along those cognitive pathways of the intellect and do that crossword, you know, that might take one or two hours every morning. They've got all that wonderful cognition and thinking and activity going on that brings them into focus and presence. And with that, they get that chance of settling their thinking, clarify their, clarifying their thinking, and then communicating. And I found that the people at dementia units that were continuing their crosswords were able to settle their thinking and were able to communicate and able to make friends and able to enjoy being in the dementia community, all because of crosswords, you know? So it's so important, especially if that person has always loved doing crosswords. It's in their sort of cognitive DNA, if you like. So bring in heaps of those beautiful crosswords, continue the subscriptions, make sure they have the pen that they can do the crosswords with, and then they can have a lovely little life at the dementia unit, continuing their favourite pastime, being the wonderful crossword, whether it's cryptic or not, it's all good, oiled, cognitive thinking. So thank you for your likes and subscriptions. Sorry about that. Likes and subscriptions and everything else and these two books, The Residence Voice and The Residence Rise, both from a dementia unit, which I've written, um, both in the description below the website, www.pietervalentine.com. Those books can be got there. So just please pass on these links um, to people, you know, that affect, are affected by dementia, especially if you know that their mother or rel relative does crosswords, you know, just so that they can be informed of all these tips and things. So thank you.